I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be another plush review. Of course, I don't do these very often. It's an Intel by title. I'm going to review this plush of Rage Hound. You may have seen her chilling in the background of my previous video. Just like with Aurora Bloom, I bought this from Corgi Beans. And this was made by their Build a Fur division, which of course makes plush versions of various fursuiters. And I reviewed Aurora a while back. I mentioned that she. I mentioned that she had no tags on her. Now, Raytown, on the other hand, um, yeah, she does have a tag right here on her ass. See the uh, build of her logo right there. And you can see that this was designed in the USA and uh, made in China. This proves I was right about the Aurora Bloom plush being made in China. Of course, this means that Foxconn was responsible for the manufacturing. What I should mention is that Ragehound herself is uh, a fursuiter, a YouTuber, a dancer, and a Twitch streamer who resides up in New York. She mainly does commentary videos related to the furry fandom, and she's been making those videos for over half a decade. Honestly, I think she does a very good job at commentary. One of her earliest videos is a video that criticized 2 Griffin. Honestly, I was never a fan of 2 Griffin. I blocked him long ago because of racist shit that he posted, along with some other stuff. Another video that Ragehound made uh, talked about furries in music videos. And she brought up the fact that the music video... You know, she brought up the music video for Savior by Rise Against. I actually commented on that video saying that uh, Dandy Warhol has also featured a bunch of fursuiters in the music video for the song You Are Killing Me. Then again, she has also made videos condemning the actions of both Kira the Wolf and uh, Maine Wolfie, two vervin in the furry phantom who happen to be on my shit list. Kira is a necro pedo zoophile, and Maine Wolfie is a meth head, a misogynist, a pedophile, and a zoophile sympathizer. Pick your fucking poison. On top of that, you know, those vermin were meant for each other, because they're no different from one another. If I see one or both of them in person, I was telling them to fuck off and giving them the middle finger salute. I know I went on topic right there, but what can you do? Anyways, uh, Ray Town's most recent video at the time of uploading this video is about the clusterfuck that was uh, free for all, aka Fashcon. I'm not going to go into detail about Fashcon because everyone knows how much of knows that it was nothing short of a failed project. Now let's talk about the actual plush. As you can see, it looks um, very accurate to, uh, to Ragehound's uh, original fursuit. And I think it's uh, pretty cute how her tongue sticks out. And you can also see that her tongue, her hands, uh, her paws, her hair, and uh, the insides of her ears, as well as um, you know, these parts uh, by her eyes uh, are all the same color. And uh, the plush itself is uh, virtually the, the same size as, uh, as uh, Aurora Bloom. And just like with Aurora, Raytown is uh, pretty stiff and is designed to sit down. Unlike Aurora, Raytown has claws on her, on her hands and her paws. Granted, Raytown's persona is called Cupcake, which I think is a pretty cute name. I remember Ragehound unboxed a new fursuit back in November of last year, but she's not using that suit because of the drama surrounding the maker. Because of that, she went back to the old suit. She did say that she won't get rid of the new suit because she paid thousands of dollars for it, and fursuits usually cost a couple grand. One reason why I bought this plush is because she was on sale for $40. That's actually $10 less than what I paid for Aurora. And it wasn't just uh, the plush that came in the mail, because uh, she also came with some other stuff. First of all, I got another one of these pieces of paper. See, um, let me start social media accounts as well as a uh, cleaning guide. You know, I also, also got our business card. You can see it says, um, build a fur right there on the back. In fact, this plush actually came with two. And 
and um, the plush also came with this sticker. And uh, last but not least, um, I also got this button. You know, I actually have, I actually have uh, several buttons that I've received over the years. Overall, I really like this plush. And if you want, we can always uh, get one from Corgi Beans along with some other cool stuff. And there's going to be a link in the description. I'm also going to post a link to, uh, to Rage Hound's YouTube channel in the description. And I recommend subscribing to her channel. Her channel also has links to her Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Patreon. You can support her there too if you want. And uh, now it's the part where I question you. What are your thoughts on the Rage Hound plush? You know, what are your thoughts on the uh, on uh, build of her as a plush manufacturer. If you have met Ragehound in person, how is she in real life? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify future uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.